Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. As you can tell by the title, I brought it home and no Premier League football this weekend due to the internationals. So what I thought I'd do, as I've just said, as you can tell by the title, is recap on Brighton's season so far. So welcome back to another episode of What's Going On at Brighton FC. Um, you know, it ain't been the best of starts. But it ain't been the worst of breaks either. Uh, I think the break just came for the right time for us to regroup. Um, before I start, I'd like to say congratulations to Lewis Dunk on his second England call up as well. I'm truly am proud of a Brighton boy to be called up for the um, England national squad. Um, also in this, I'm going to cover the fixtures we've got coming up and what I'm expecting. Um, you know, in my Premier League prediction videos, my expectations might change. But hopefully not. Um, you know, I, I ain't gonna say how many points I'm expecting out there, but I talk a bit about the opposition we've got coming up, what we've done in the past, and you know, hopefully for better outcomes on some of these games. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game you can now tell by the badge was Watford. And those are two 0 to Watford away. Um, you know, it weren't the best result, weren't the best way to start the season. Um, you know, we expected to go up there, pick up a point and maybe the three. Um, actually coming away with none, I did actually find that very hard to get over. Um, you know, we didn't look right in the day, we didn't look ready. Um, but as I said on the vlog, well done to Watford, I think you fully deserve the three points. Some of you Brian fans may disagree, if you do, put it in the comments below. But obviously we disagree because we're all different, we all expect different things. Um, then we came to the MX for our first game of the season at home. And what a day and result it was for Brighton. Beating 3-2 against Manchester United. Um, now, Man United, as I said, I did the vlog as well. You may have, you may have noticed I stopped the vlogs for a little bit. Go back and join my football, but there is another vlog coming up real soon uh, within the next couple of weeks. Um, as, yeah, as I said, United, I didn't know what they were doing. Um, you know, that you don't know what your team's doing. Paul Bob was whipping the ball out wide. Uh, they weren't taking their chances. David Popper may have should have had one. Um, obviously he might be back in November, hopefully, so our up and coming fixture against Leicester. You might see David Popper back. I know he's back in training everything he's for Brighton and for us uh, obviously as a Brighton crowd. Um, on the neutral point of view, a very dangerous player when he's on his game. Um, then we went to Liverpool. Um, lost 1-0. But uh, every Brighton fan I spoke to was saying we take that, we take a 1-0 defeat away um, at Anfield. Um, you know, it's going to, with points like that, this is why we need to pick up points at home because we're not expecting them to get them on the road. Um, I would like to get a few more points on the road. I think we should have possibly had a few more points on the road already, but it's not happened yet. But anyway, still plenty more games to go. Um, then the EFL Cup came to the MX and we lost 1 0 to Southampton. Charlie Austin goal, and all respect to Southampton and all respect to our club. I'm not really concentrating on Cup yet. I know some of you would like a Cup one, but maybe it come in the FA Cup. And then we drew at home to Fulham. Um, 2 0 down. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't make that game, but I did watch the highlights. Yet yeah, again, we look very, I don't know, 50 50. Uh, you know, we obviously to come back from 2 0 down to get a 2 0 result. I'm very happy with that. Um, but obviously, if we're going to stand this lead, that's the team we need to get all three points from. Um, an update of Fulham, they have sat their manager, and uh, Renier is back in charge. So hopefully, we might see him at Clover Cottage. Um, obviously, what's happened to Leicester recently, it ain't that uh, good. So, a bit of good news for Manny to be back in management and back in the Premier League. 
Um, then we went to Southampton and yet again a two-all draw. Um, yet again I watched the game live on telly, couldn't make it out there. But yet again we looked very dodgy. Um, I don't want to say dodgy. We've just, we're just inviting the pressure on and we're doing it week in week out and I wish we'd just be a bit more attacking minded. I'm not saying I don't want to sack Chris because I don't want to. Um, I don't think doing that is the right choice for the club. I think Christian a great job um, getting us points to the Prem, getting us a all for last season and hopefully doing it again this season. You know, I ain't saying sack him, please don't sack him. Um, you know, he has done a great job at the club, I think he's the right man to take us forward and uh, you know all Brighton fans why I'm saying that. Um, and then we come back down to the Amex and we drew our loss to Spurs 2-1. Um, you know, not a game we expect to get any points from, but I would have liked to cheat you one for that one. Uh, the next one, it will away to City. 2-0 defeat, I'll take that any day of the week. Um, Man City ain't the easiest place to go to. So, yeah, I would have taken that. Um, you know, we all expect to go around and get smashed. Um, a few of you might not have thought that, but that's what I was expecting. And then we, West Ham came to town. We beat West Ham 1-0. Hatchwick could win against the uh, Hammers. Um, West Ham ain't the best of teams in the Prem. I know you got uh, Pellegrini in charge, but as I've said, when uh, Birmingham and Davis stopped there, if you're watching this, West Ham fans, it takes more than one good player or one good manager to change the team. So, you know, that's why I'll put a bit of expectation on you, a bit lower than what a lot of people would have done. Um, in my Premier League prediction tables, which if you haven't seen it, it'd be in the playlist down below. Um, and then we went up to Newcastle, another 1 0 defeat. 1 uh, 0 win, sorry. Defeat. 1 0 win. Um, who can forget Newcastle away? Glenn Murray's nasty injury. Lucky made a full recovery. Um, I think he's just um, unconscious. Uh, I managed to wake him up and bring him back round. Uh, no brain damage, uh, thank God. Um, you know, and a Kyle uh, Ischiello deflection. So that's a three points for um, up the north. Um, and then we came back down here. Um, and then we beat Wolves. I was expecting to beat them. Um, I know a few Wolves fans have probably given me stick. But if we weren't going to draw, I was expecting us to win. I'm not saying Wolves did deserve an equaliser, I think they did, I think they had the opportunities just going to get past the great Matty Ryan. Um, you know, he's been called one of the best keepers in the league. Um, but yeah, happy with that result. And then this is where it turns, it's our last two games that we've played. A few things I'm going to talk to you about and this is where you might disagree with me. Everton 3-1. Now, one thing I don't get with Chris Shooting, you may, as I said, you may disagree if you do, put it down in the comments below. But as I said, if you disagree, that's what makes us different um, in the world. Um, but hey ho, uh, why did he bring Andorra on 10 minutes for the end? We're all ready, 3 1 down. If any of you guys went up to the game and saw them warm up before they scored that third goal or start getting ready to come on, please let me know. And then the last game that we played so far is Cardiff away. 2-1 defeat. Now, as I said, this is where you might disagree with me a bit more. There are Steelers. Red card, no red card. Referee is wrong. Referee is that. Well, I'm going to clear it up from my point of view. And as I said, you might disagree. I'll hold my hands up if you do. There are Stevens. I was watching it coming back because I've had to have a couple of days away. I think Dale Stevens was a red card. Now, even you can say, well, I'm not a bright fan, I am. I just think that's a red card. If, uh, if uh, like, for instance, a main night player done now, not cart for say. Remember, not cart's challenge last season for Watford, where he came in from the side. The only difference is, 
Now I'm saying it's got the bulb, but it's not the bulb that the referee is looking at. It's the after effect, uh, the way it went into the player. Um, which I agree, all studs up, straight red. Um, you know, and I think that costs us that game. I think if Steven stayed on his feet, maybe a bit of bit smarter thinking. Um, you know, think quick. Um, I think he's still rushing in there. I think we could have got the ball cleanly and I reckon we've all, all would have got three points. But fair play to you Cardiff. Um, second one in a row. Uh, second one in the Premier, sorry. Alright, anyway. We got we played 12, 14 points. I'm more than happy with that. Um, now here's what we've got coming up. We're six points away from the bottom three. So, as I just said, here's what we've got coming up. Starting with a week on Saturday, let's start on. Now let's start, as I've said in this video, we've, you know, after what happened up there, um, you know, they're expected, they want to win. Um, I'm, I hope most of you bright fans uh, stand with me with this one there. You know, it's not a nice thing to happen. I remember when the Sean Ed starts to happen down here, it all went pretty. Um, quiet for a while uh, I think it's about two months before we start singing again so you know I'll West uh, Leicester you know I've got huge respect for you for playing your first game I think it was against Cardiff so you know um, and then we go Huddersfield away now this is a game we need to pick up three points this is the game in two successive results we have walked away with nothing now, as I've said, oh, I'm one I've said, sorry. We only stayed up by six points last season. We're dropping points, that means we need to pick up points where we did it last season. Now, Leicester at home, we didn't. Huddersfield away, we didn't. But we're playing a team lower down than us. Um, you know, if just start to pick up points, let's just hope we can go up there and get the three points for that one. Um, and then, obviously, Everyone's starting to count down to our social media already. Uh, Crystal Palace at home. Uh, yet again, I'm expecting three points from that. Um, Palace not in the best of form. Um, you know, Sahar's been out for a fixture. Uh, you know, is it who's and how's what's going on? Um, so yeah, I'm expecting three points from that, and you probably will see that in my Premier League prediction video. I'm not sure what the score's going to be yet though, so you have to stay tuned for that. Um, and then we go Burnley away. Burnley, another game last season, I don't think we picked up any points. Who could forget Burnley? Uh, Bombay and Booth. I think we played a bit wrong, if I remember. Please, please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, you know, it's going to be one of them games, I think. Um, and then we go Chelsea at home. Yeah, again, Chelsea. 4-1 I think we lost last season um, as I said if we ain't going to pick up points away we're going to have to pick up more points at home um, I'm just so thankful that we've got so many points up in there that we can afford a bit of a dip but hopefully we can we, we get the win against Leicester and then we go Bournemouth away now this is where some of you will disagree with me again this is where some of you won't disagree with me again this is, I call it a South Coast Derby based on we're both on the South Coast. Now for you that go, well, it's not um, Palace of Brighton Art, I don't see how you call I, I know we've got a rivalry, I know that. But to actually call a team in London and a team in Brighton, down the M23, a Derby, I never know. But as I said, that's your choice, whether you want to call it a Derby or not. That's up to you. But I call the Southampton a derby and I'll call Palace just a rival game. Um, and then we go Arsenal at home. Who can forget Arsenal last season? Um, you know, different era this time. Unite like Emery, um, Bamiang, Czech, Mustafi, Ramsey, Ozil. The list is endless. Um, but I'm expecting yet again, we need to pick up three points from that or maybe a point from that game and then we finished December off with Everton at home now Everton was a point last season after bombing Rooney down in the box 
Um, I don't know why he done that, but yet again, this is a game where we need the three points. Um, you know, all you guys are like, I know some of you guys are like, a bit, um, you know, want stuff to change. The only bit I would like to change, um, and as I said, don't sack Chris by any means, is I wish, they, I wish Chris had a bit more faith in our players and try and break out the box um, a bit quicker. Or if we get the chance, just break out. Just break out. Let's see what happens. Um, nothing bad can happen except to concede the goal. But we won the up, we sit back, and that's where we play dangerously, in my opinion. Anyway, guys, I've got to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.